Okay, today I would like to talk about what it means to be hip. H-I-P, hip. Well, you know, I'll start off with, with this, but I'll probably digress like I usually do. So, a few months ago I watched a documentary <clears throat> of Quincy Jones, the Netflix series. And then he describes uh, hip as being aware. And I totally agree. Like, you have to know where, where things come from and you have to know where things are going, in a way, to be hip. And, okay, what does it mean to be hip? Well, hip, we use that word among musicians to express uh, when something is, something we like it, or so, uh, something that makes us go, yeah, like I don't know how to explain it other than it's, it's a feeling, hip. It's usually like cutting edge things are hip. Uh, anyway, so... I want to analyze a little bit of what it means to be hip. In my best analysis, in my best way of explaining uh, what it means to be hip, is to play around with the familiar and the unfamiliar. So everyone's understanding uh, on anything is different. So everybody has a different uh, level of unfamiliarity and familiarity when it comes to whatever, like music for instance. So, so we, uh, as performers, we always have to be aware of that and kind of read the room and, and lead in the direction of the, you know, the listeners. Um, well, it's, it's always, this is always, reading the room is always hard because, because nowadays people cheer for anything. Like people cheer when they hear something that's familiar, they say, yes, I, we get it. And, but if they hear something that's unfamiliar, uh, they also go, yeah, I like that, or that's new, or that's hip. See, that's another another way to explain the word hip. Um, unfamiliar. Unfamiliar is hip. <clears throat> uh, so, oh, why is unfamiliar is hip? Well, hip is like the opposite of uh, boring or mundane. And uh, things that are familiar to us are usually something that has already been repeated so many times to, to the point of boredom. Sometimes, you know, we, we think we don't like uh, something that's familiar because we're used to it. It's just, it's always been there or it's, it's, we're tired of it. So, to be hip, we have to chase the unfamiliar or the explore and spend time in the unfamiliar. And, but, but then if you spend time in the unfamiliar, that becomes familiar. So now you have to go even further. So that's why, the reason why the music, for instance, gets seems like it gets really complicated is because people's understanding keeps going up. So in, in order to get the, uh, the high of, uh, high of um, the new sound or chasing or all of that, it comes from exploring and spending time in the unfamiliar. So that's why I believe it, it, can, it keeps getting complicated. So going back to the performer, right? Performing, everybody's understanding is different. So, so what does that mean? Um, let's say you're improvising and you are um, going back and forth between what's familiar to you and what's unfamiliar to you as a performer. Well, the listener's, listener's level of understanding is different. So you might think, how does that translate? And it actually does translate because listeners can feel it when the performer is playing around within his own spectrum. There's a video of Jacob Collier's interview with June Lee. I think it's number one, the one that has over a million views. In that, Jacob talks about um, uh, Jacob talks about deceiving his own expectation and how that can be felt by the the listeners. And I thought that was really cool. So basically, um, what he's saying is, if I play around within my within my level of understanding. Uh, people can feel if I'm exploring my unfamiliar and going back, back, uh, going, going in and out. And I thought that was really interesting. If you think about it, in a sense, um, with music, the listener has a great power. I would say as equal to the performer, or even more sometimes. Okay. Speaking of unfamiliarity, I used to think not knowing was the scariest thing there is. Well, I still think that actually. Because not knowing means your mind can wander and start making scenarios that aren't real. 
But then thinking about this whole exploration of unfamiliar, maybe, maybe it isn't that scary. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but I mean, the reason why people get attracted to jazz music in the first place is because it sounds hip, right? So it's unfamiliar. So if everything was familiar, it's, it would be too boring and you wouldn't want to chase it. But if it's unfamiliar, then you, you want to learn. And, and you want to chase it, which means that all the jazz musicians and all the cutting edge people in the world are chasing the unfamiliar. They're running towards the unknown. So I thought that was something I could take note of. So when you start, like when I started learning jazz, I understood nothing. The only, the only thing I could hear was notes because I, I guess I had perfect pitch so I could hear notes. But I couldn't associate any emotion or connection to it because in the beginning everything is unfamiliar. Because it's unfamiliar, everything was hip. Like anything, anything I heard was hip. It was, it was hip. But now I realize with a little bit of experience, I understand a little bit. But I still want to keep chasing the unknown, the exploring of the unknown, which is more interesting than being comfortable with the familiar. So actually, uh, ch this chasing of unfamiliar really never ends and keeps going. Uh, speaking of Jacob Collier, um, I think when I first discovered him um, back in 2012 or 2013, I couldn't stand it. It was too much information at the time for me, and I couldn't grasp onto anything. Everything sounded, everything was too much for me. And and now he's like the best thing ever, of course. But but in the beginning. Like, all you see is just the information, and, and too much of it, you know, can really put me off. So, so it took me some time, like, I went back to his music years later, and then I think it really was the emotional connection that I got from his music that really got me hooked. It wasn't the chops or the, the information part of things, which he has mastery of. Yet, yeah, um, talking about the level of understanding, um... When you're listening to music, you like it when things are familiar. But you also like it when there is a little bit of unfamiliar too. But when there's too much unfamiliarity, then you can't relate at all. Right? So I think there needs to be a balance of enough familiar things that you can latch on to, but have enough spices so that it's it's still interesting. And when I say things you can latch on to, it doesn't have to be theory or um, knowledge of of music it can also be like how it feels and and the emotional part of things that that's you know that's a thing you can hang on to while listening to music but after a while you get used to it it doesn't mean that you understand it but you get used to it it's like you get used to the sound or you get used to the or like you get used to being in an unfamiliar city kind of thing when I first moved to Quebec um, to go to McGill, I couldn't speak a word of French. I mean, I still don't speak any French, but I got to the city, and you know, some people uh, have a hard time, feel like they're an outcast because they only speak English. I was ready for that situation. I spent five years in Vancouver prior to that, and first couple of years, I really couldn't speak anything, and you know, I I know that feeling of being in a city where you can't really get around. So, so it's the same thing with music. It's like you get used to listening to things that are new to your new to your ears. Like I say, it doesn't mean that I understand it, but you don't have to understand it to be able to appreciate it. And that's really the beauty of music. Because of the vast range of difference in understanding, it's nothing like it when you can share the feeling of appreciating music together you know chances are it's not the ex exact same experience ever between two people i think it's i think it's unique individually i mean we can never tell the, o the only thing we can do is talk about music and that's another thing that's interesting is talking about music is nothing like it because because no one's understanding is is exactly the same it makes it very interesting to hear what people experience you know 